This is Twit. Welcome back to the Twit Digital Cleanse. We are at week five, which means we're halfway there, friends. I hope you appreciated the break that we took last week. And I hope you used it to do a little cleansing on your own. Keep on telling me how you're doing. Either email me at Megan at twit.tv or you can tweet at me at Megan Maroney using the hashtag digital cleanse. You can also leave a comment on our YouTube playlist, which you can easily find by searching for digital cleanse on YouTube. To recap, we have cleaned up our notifications, achieved inbox zero, purged useless apps, and thinned out our cloud storage. Now it's time to tackle the big kahuna, your hard drive. Whether you're using a Mac or a PC, step one is to get your updates, security updates, obviously, but you also wanna be running the newest version of any operating system that you can run. I understand that's not always possible because of cost, but do what you can. Updates are the first step in digital detox of any operating system or any software at all, for that matter. For Mac updates, go to the Apple menu, choose About This Mac, and then click Software Update. To update your Windows machine, just type Update in the search box on the taskbar, and then click Check for Updates. Step two is to simply restart your computer and close all the apps, programs, tabs, and web browsers that you're not using. Since most computers often go to sleep and we don't have to power them off and on like the old days, you can find that you have a lot of stuff open that you're just not using. A restart can help you feel like a million bucks. Now let's trash some files. If you wanna know why this is so painful, check my scientific explanation from the digital cleanse we did of our cloud storage. Then just grit your teeth and get going. On a Mac, type files in the search box and then sort by size. Then begin the deleting process. I deleted old audiobooks that are also in my library on the cloud, giant videos that are also uploaded to YouTube and elsewhere, and lots and lots of duplicate files. If you have to spend more than 10 minutes manually deleting duplicate files, you might want to invest in some software to automate the process. For the Mac, I like Gemini by MacPaw. Just tap the plus icon and then choose a recommended folder or add a custom folder to scan. Then click scan for duplicates. Review your results or choose smart cleanup. If your problem is bigger than just duplicate files, try Clean My Mac 3, also by MacPaw. You can download the software for free and remove 500 megabytes, but to remove more than that, it'll cost you 40 bucks. And now on to the Windows cleanse. There are so many different ways to clean out your hard drive if you're using Windows 10. I asked Padre about his cleansing process and he said, back up to OneDrive, do a factory reset and then a clean install. He says you probably don't need much of the software you've downloaded anyway. That is a little bit too hardcore of a cleanse for me. Here are a few quicker tips for digitally cleansing your Windows machine. First, get rid of the software that you don't use anymore. In Windows 10, you can now use the Settings app to uninstall both desktop programs and Windows Store apps. Type apps and features into the search bar, then sort by size. Find the apps you don't use anymore or that you never used, thank them for their service, and then select uninstall. You can also detoxify your Windows machine by deleting temporary files. Search for disk cleanup in the search bar and then detox by getting rid of downloaded program files, temporary internet files, your recycle bin, and much more. If you've done your best to digitally cleanse your PC and Mac and you still feel a little bloated, I have one last tip for you consider getting a Chromebook. With everything on the cloud, you're much less likely to fill your hard drive with gunk. Padre recommends the Acer R13. He says it feels good, it looks good, and you can get one between three and $400. If you currently have a Chromebook and you still want to do a cleanse, do a factory reset. Click on your profile photo, open settings, and scroll down to the advanced section, and then click the power wash icon. You'll feel like you just drank a gallon of fresh squeezed beet juice. Ah. And now, it's gold star time. Thank you to Raj Peeps on YouTube who had a great tip for cleansing your iPhone. Raj said, I got my iPhone down to two pages and added a few folders of productivity. I moved all entertainment games photography apps to my iPad. The big screen makes much more sense to use those particular apps. 
And a gold star goes to Christopher for pointing me to the TED Talk by Manoush Zamarodi on how boredom can lead to your most brilliant ideas. Now, I've interviewed Manoush several times and our digital cleanse was inspired by her Bored and Brilliant project from 2015. If you want to take your cleanse to the next level, check out Manoush's new book, Bored and Brilliant, How Spacing Out Can Unlock Your Most Productive and Creative Self. Just be aware that one of her tips is to go through an entire day without taking a photo of anything. Maybe it's just me, but that seems worse than giving up coffee. And our final gold star of the week goes to Esben on Twitter, who says he allows notifications to show in the notification center and nowhere else. You never get nagged and you never see those obnoxious red notification badges on your apps. Brilliant suggestion, Esben. And that's it for this week, cleansers. I want your ideas. Hashtag digital cleanse on Twitter or YouTube or Instagram for that matter. Don't forget that we are in this together. Stay tuned for next week when we get really serious and clean out our passwords. I am Megan Maroney and I host iOS Today every Tuesday at 9 a.m. Pacific.